Hey everybody, this is Diabetes, and I'm going to play some Hydor. Ah! Which is based on 80s game standards, which means it probably sucks. Ram and Rama are okay as a grid out of nowhere. Let's get started. After basking in the great intro and the score by that guy. I'm not going to talk for a second, I'm just taking in this story, the cinematic here. Brilliant, yes. Good, good. Well, that was... That was pretty 80s. Even the sort of symmetrical title screen is very 80s. Uh, and... Enter. So we have various options here in Hydor A, like start, submit your resume if you want to work for them, even some secrets and little fart sounds in between. I'm loving this game already, and I haven't even started yet. So yes, the future of humanity lies in your hands. God bless. Okay, ready to rock, Carnell. Unit 87, take off. Brilliant storytelling. I love it. I love this game already. So, uh, space shooters, right? Those were a thing back in the day. So there's so much demand for these now. So you can collect green shit, which, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of flying in blind here, so I don't really know what anything does, I just know there's two buttons. Uh, that's the shoot button, then I have an X button, which I apparently just wasted something. But, I collected some green shit! And that's pretty awesome. Nice move, Captain America bot, but my rapid fire is a little too good for you. Better luck next time. So these guys are throwing spitballs at me. Again, nice try, but the Beatus knows his shit. And by that I mean I know how to hold down a single button and coast. Deal with it. So, going through an asteroid belt, my favorite part of any shooting game is shooting stationary, near stationary objects that pose no real threat to you. Brilliant gaming indeed. And, you know, more of the same. Great game so far, just loving it, loving every moment of this. I picked up my S, which is, uh... Turbo. I... Did I skip something? Uh, whatever. So, uh, that was the first level, and this is the boss. It's Cracko! otherwise known as the iPod. And he fires sonic booms at you and waves his arms around like a spaz. I don't know if there's a faster way to beat off this guy, but I feel pretty good about my strategy of holding down the button and sort of passively aiming for his eye. That kind of works in most games of this nature. There's one glowing, glaring uh, weak spot that you're supposed to target. And you know, it's, it's going pretty well so far. I feel pretty good about my progress in this game, despite not really knowing what I'm doing. I should confess that uh, Dectalon asked me to do this, and I owe him some favors, because he's better at Mega Man than me, so here I am, wasting my time with, with this. This is what my life has come down to. This is what I do for fun. And I love it. I love every, um, every moment of this. This is a great game obviously. There's just so much variety in this fight. Um, it's it's just riveting. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen next. Is he going to open his little two tentacle things? Is he going to fire blue shit and then rotating shit? Oh, wow, what do you know? He did exactly that. Unpredictable boss fight. I was just improvising like crazy. What a, uh, <laughs> I know I am. I'm diabetes.